Hi friends, it's Susan from Wild Cottage, still at not Wild Cottage. Um, I had just made a podcast for you, Podcast 13, on Sunday the 19th of September. And today is only Tuesday the 21st. But, but, I have an amazing, I think, find at the local charity thrift shop. <coughs> Pardon me to show you. And, um, yeah, so I wanted to record this. Okay, so if you had watched Podcast 13, you probably saw there was a part there where I was talking about the wonderful charity shops, thrift, thrift, thrift shops, as they call them here, um, in the area. And one that is fairly near to me here is the Goodwill, which I just love. And um, we've been coming here to Williamsburg for a couple years and to spend time near my family so we come for a couple months out of the year and I've been getting things there um, just think it's amazing now we didn't come last year so we haven't been for nearly two years because of COVID um, and when I was here last I had just started my knitting journey so I went today to go to the Goodwill because I was actually dropping things off <laughs> I was donating and as you do you know, oftentimes when we donate, like I, I was like, oh, I'll just go in and see what's there. Well, you know, sometimes you go in these places and you don't see anything because I'm, I'm really just kind of looking at household goods and craft goods. Like I'm not looking at clothes or anything because I, I want to make my clothes <laughs> and I don't need a lot of clothes anyway. So, um, yeah. Then you don't usually really see much yarn, but today so much yarn this yarn and there's two bags of yarn there because this person put packed it up and put the value of what the yarn is so that they would know to price it appropriately appropriately at the goodwill so i just happened to go in there and there was more i just got i got some of these pumpkiny colors and there were other colors as well but i was like well i don't need to spend all the money and i don't need to buy all the there are other colors I liked, but I was like, let me make the yarn for some other people. Because I certainly, I, yeah, I bought enough. So I bought four bags. And I just really want to show you. And I got an amazing project slash bag bag and a little zip pouch for um, some of the the project bags you saw that I bought in the last podcast. And there was that lovely purpley pinky one with the sheep. There I got this, which was, you know, probably like a dollar. But, you know, that'll do for a nice little notions pouch in that bag. Um, anyway, I got this lovely basket as well. I got all these things I'm going to show you for $60. Now, I did have a 20% off card because I had been the two years before and I'd saved my card where you get the stamps and then you get six or 20% off your next purchase. I have not opened this yarn yet. So, obviously, I'm going to stick it in the freezer. She's already got it in plastic bags, but I'll stick it in the freezer to make sure there are no, you know, moths. But, um, so I'm, I'm not going to take it out and just throw it in my stash. So let's start with the smaller bag. Now this bag I bought for $10.25 and she's got that the value of it is $48. But this is Ba Ram U brand and it is 100% British wool made in the UK. 50% BFL, Blue Face Lester, and 25% Wensleydale and 25% dark brown mash. It's not Masham, it's Massam spun and dyed in Yorkshire and it's a DK so it's 252 yards oh you can pretty much you want to know how what they feel like of course you do okay I'll, I'll pause and open it okay it's quite um, nice well, I wasn't sure exactly but this is nice I mean it's rustic and I'm probably hard to go by because I'm not sensitive to wool but I could definitely make a cow out of that so that's dove stock. Do, no, dove stone. Dove stone DK. So there it is. So I have two skeins of that. I got two skeins for $10 basically. So this value, she's valued at, I'm just saying she because I'm just assuming she's a she because I probably shouldn't think that way because a lot of men are knitters and becoming more public than with the fact that they knit. And of course, there are people that don't identify. They're non-binary. So anyways, this person 
this person, this lovely person, has valued th this set of yarn I'm about to show you at $70 and I bought it for $15.25. So what really got my eye to start was this. Oh, I'm trying not to cover my face as well. Look, isn't that gorgeous? So this is the tag and that's the tag there. It's base name is basic sock at 75 superwash merino and 25% nylon and the color is rags to riches and oh here it is AJ's handmade creations and she has an online store I you know I, I don't know how old these could be so this piece person might not be dying so, anymore but it's there's one of these then also from this creator is a color called Bruce and again it's the same it's the same base it's same basic sock base and then a third one that is called pink zebra look at that so that's fun so obviously the person who bought these was probably thinking of making some sort of set and also with it we have some West Yorkshire spinners the signature four ply and I've never used this before so I was curious about that so it's 35% um, blue face Lester and the rest is a mixed wool and then 25% nylon so I was excited about this so obviously they were thinking about making something something but I had just ordered don't don't even be talking to me me and my bonus money from an Etsy seller I saw this I was browsing Etsy anyway <laughs> and I came across this colorway that I just thought was really lovely and it's from craftily dyed yarn so I know nothing really about this seller the yarn came and and the and that was it like there wasn't a sometimes people put a little note and say something but so I I don't really know anything about this seller other than that she he or she this person is on this person is on Etsy and this colorway is called jack-o-lantern and I thought that was really cool. And I just ordered a single skein to try it. So again, it's a it's a sock, it's a 25, 75, 25. And then when I saw this in the bag, I thought, oh, and look now, they could really do something interest, interesting together. We also have this one as well to play with. And possi possibly that, yeah, I mean, I'm, the the dark the black is quite I'm not sure if I want to I was gonna say I'm not sure if I want to go for that I don't know I don't know what do you think do you think I mean if it was all mostly this gray but some of that that black looks like it might be too much I could do a swatch and just see Again, I'm not sure what this will be, but I think there would be a lovely group and of course could do something like this with it as you well. Shared a Stephen West shawl. And like this was, you know, the solid edging. Um, I can't remember, but that's an idea. So I'm thinking about that. So then we have this kind of lonely only, which I am going to do with it. I'm going to put it in the giveaway. So um, I think I might have mentioned no, I didn't actually mention last podcast, but so November 4th is my, and I'm also going to take that date for being my knitiversary, um, cause it was right around that time that I made my first, my first project Anyhow, ever. Like, so I didn't actually get to the place where I could actually knit anything until November of 2019. So I'm going to say November 4th is my second year anniversary and my first year anniversary. So I'm going to have a giveaway. Like All that I have a few things in in Ireland to do as a giveaway. I'll get him to bring them when he comes. And um and I'll add a few things here. So again, I'll just say if you are a maker or a person that would like to donate a prize, a pattern, you know, a physical prize or a digital pattern or whatever, stitch marker, anything that's you'd be so um, we'd be so appreciative of that and um, 
you can post them to me here in the States because that's where I'm going to be for the next couple of months, you know, helping my, my dad and my stepmom. So, um, yes, so you can contact me at wildcottagepodcast at gmail.com and I'll put that in the drop down bar as well. Anyhow, so I think this can go in the giveaway. So I'll share, share the love. Now I'm going to get to these other ones and this amazing bag. Wait, guys, gals, people, people, wait till you see this amazing bag that I got for $15. It's amazing. Okay, I'm going to turn you off again so you don't hear all the crinkling. This bag just said merino wool because they're already caked up. And I bought this bag of four cakes for $7.25. <gasps> looky look at that color I, I know I'm giddy I'm so excited this feels like a non superwash so that's kind of cool um yes yeah, sorry so there's that this is feels like it's probably a superwash there's this so this doesn't I mean it is soft enough to merino but I think it's non superwash merino and then there's this one oh there we go that's probably there there we are that's probably it's it's a little bit sort of lurid it's not quite that lurid not that I mind lurid and then there's this one and then that's making everything blow out that's probably pretty close I'm gonna hold them up but I'm gonna put them in front of my face but I won't talk okay I have one what I have one Last more bag of amazing yarn she, this person has valued at $78 and I have paid $16.25, right? If this person happens to watch this podcast, thank you for donating this yarn. Um, it's meant the, <laughs> this is silly. You know, I obviously have had funds to buy some other indie dyed yarn, But this has meant the world to me, you know, going through this tough time. And I, I, I just, I just, I have given myself, we, we have given so much stuff to Goodwill. And I've supported Goodwill, like since we've started coming here, you know, the five years ago. And when my mom passed, I gave so many things of hers to Goodwill. So I just feel like. It's a little hug from the universe, maybe. After all we've been through, you know, with my sister nearly dying in the hospital and then my dad going through what he's going through. And then there was actually yesterday, my sister was coming up to help me move things around for my dad and stepmom to come here after he gets out of hospital. And there was a school shooting in the school district where my teenage niece and nephew are in high school. You know, that's not something we have in Ireland, thank God, and I wish no one had it here either, or anywhere. But the fear, so like obviously she wasn't coming up. The schools all got locked down. Thank God it wasn't actually at their school, but their school was getting locked down as well. Um, because there had there was rumors went around that it was going to be something at all at different schools that there was like a planned thing you know how rumors go but this is what the teenagers texted to their mom so we were all in bits and so i i watched that on the news for a while and then our teens were safe we found that they were safe and they got home and they're not going to school today. Their mom's keeping them home and yeah. But, uh, and then I saw in the news, so I to be was that um, two people were shot, but not life threatening. And then two other people were injured in the escape. That's all I know. It could have been a lot worse. It was still bad and awful, but I don't think anyone died. Anyway, so needless to say, like, this past, you know, year, particularly, it's coming up to nearly a year, well, it's a little over a year, has been really, really hard for my family with different things. It could have been a lot worse. People could have actually, you know, died from their illnesses and they didn't. 
but and you know we're all going through things so like we're not unique but anyways I just sometimes I feel like anyway I've I've digressed let me just show you show you the yarn so there's another West Yorkshire spinners signature for ply in this lovely orangey color sort of a light orange slash peach then there is this here griffin sock hermione jean creations hand dyed fibers and yarns and it's 75 percent superwash merino and i'm sure it's oh and 20 percent nylon and then five percent gold stellina so you know here i am a sparkle lover really excited about that really excited about that. and it's called maple leaves and then we have a little sat a little sock set ghosts and goblins i have an actual halloween colorway which i'm super excited about <laughs> and one from evil little goat squishy goat 100 percent super wash merino wool four ply fingering fingering weight 438 yards and the colorway is shattered so this the um person who donated the yarn i think i think that they oh yeah they did because they put the total value have has this put together as a little set so there is a lot of amazing yarn here so i i'm actually feeling a little bit like a piggy because i've got all this amazing yarn and i'm only i'm only giving away this one but i'm not only giving away that one because i have other ones that i'm giving away from ireland and i also have fiber that for people that are interested in spinning, I have Irish fiber that I'm gonna have Tom bring too for that giveaway, so yeah. So how amazing is that? So all I would say is check your local thrift shops, your you know local estate sales. I mean, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that little look through the yarn. And you know, I'll just add one other thing that I, did, I thought about saying when I was talking about the upset with being afraid for the niece and nephew, the kids. I texted Tom immediately. This is what's happening, and we don't know, you know, are the kids safe? And um, he said, that in that morning, he said, literally about an hour ago, he drew an angel card. And every once in a while, he gets, you know, he wants to draw an angel card. Let me tell you what was on that card. And it was something like, your children on earth and in heaven are being cared for and washed over by the angels. So like, don't worry. And he said, you know, I got that card and he was like, what? You know, cause he has a grown son and he's, you know, his grown son is doing great. Um, so, so, and Tom said, he thought, well, that's weird. Like, well, he was like, that doesn't seem to fit. Like, that doesn't seem appropriate for me. Oh, and he had asked the angels, can I, tell me something that I need to know. You know, tell me something that I should know. And so he got that card and he texted me that back immediately. And so, of course, I texted my sister immediately and said, look, this card came up so you know or there wasn't so at that point they weren't home and everyone was really frightened so i do believe that you know the universe the divine source god whatever you want to call it i think that there are sometimes that just reach out and speaks to us um so i'm gonna bag up all the yarn now and put it in the freezer so that when you if you are the winner of this skein that you will know that it has been in the freezer for it should be fine i mean it seems like this person cared for their yarn i don't think um, i mean it doesn't look like any sort of you know moth holes or anything like that in any of them but you know you just want to you want to be careful that you know they're you know just be safe especially if you know it's fine for me to destroy my own stash but i don't want to send a moth to somebody else so yeah okay Anyways, friends i hope you're doing well <laughs> Oh, Thomas just sent me a message. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he's, he's sending me funny videos and stuff. And then we're sending them to my dad and all too. So um, so anyways, I hope you're all well. I hope things are going for well for you um, and the people you love and care about. And for all of us and for the whole world, the whole earth, all the creatures, all the beings, um, I wish the best for you. And in the tough times... I'm 
trying to do my little clothes and he keeps sending me messages. So I'm going to start over. So I don't know where I was. Um, so anyways, friends, I hope you enjoyed this little yarn, um, unexpected thrift shop yarn bonus amazingness. And um, I wish you the very best of luck in your thrifting and, you know, your second hand snooping around and buying and all that. Um, yeah, and if you've made some great, you know, finds in the, in the second hand shops, I'd love to hear. So take care, my friends. Wishing you the very best from Not Wild Cottage. I still haven't thought of a name to call this. It's, it's like Not My Cat, Not Wild Cottage. Suggestions are welcome for, to call the name for this little place in Williamsburg. It's absolutely not wild, though, so wild is not going to work. Okay, friends, take care.